How's it going everyone? My name is Dave and welcome to another Discussions and Rants video. So I was backstory to this particular topic. I was struggling to come up with something to talk about. So I actually reached out to D9 or Danny, uh, one of my friends that I met through well actually my real job on here as well. Uh, and he asked me to talk about Consistency, persistence, and patience. Luckily, these are actually some of my stronger attributes to an extent. Um, emphasis on to an extent. I'm not perfect when it comes to this kind of stuff because it is a di those are difficult things to keep up with. Um, even I can admit that. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about those three topics because they did pique my interest when it was brought up. Uh, we'll start this particular, we'll, we'll start off with consistency and go from there. Being very consistent on a lot of things can be very complicated. Now, consistency, it, it's being very, uh, using this term a lot, it's, bring, it's triggering the, my mindset of a writer actually going, don't use that same term. Shut up, me. <laughs> but... Being concise um, can be complicated. It, it, it could create it, the reason for this is kind of a mental thing, actually. When I now that I'm actually thinking about it, because keep in mind everything I'm saying is completely um, just me saying it as I go. It's completely improv statements. Uh, same topic, but improving talking. Um, but being consistent. It's complicated to do off the fly. Like, it's just, it's not impossible, but to do it, well, put it this way. It's like trying to, to expect somebody to be consistent off the bat. That's like asking a child to know how to do trigonometry without schooling. But it's retarded. You can probably look up a couple things online but to be a precise, as precise as that is, it's ridiculous. It's not possible. That's where kind of the struggle of it comes into play. A lot of people try to force their mindset into, I have to be consistent. This many people expect it for me. I expect it for myself. I put no pattern into it. I didn't put any preparation into it, but I need to be doing it. And that's crazy. It's it's crazy to do that. Now, I can understand the thought process behind it. A lot of people are just like, I've got this deadline for myself. That I don't have time to prep myself for the constant consistency or preparation or like, oh, there are several different phrases that kind of tie into this um, that I need to get to that end game. But at, at which point, I get it. I get it. It's not easy. But you need, it's kind of, that brings me into kind of the next section of it, which is perseverance. Perseverance ties into consistency actually really well. And the reason behind this is to be concise, you have to have perseverance to actually get to that point. But that perseverance, it's kind of what helps you plan out everything. You can like look at what you need to be concise in the future about, or consistent to in the future about, and, okay, I should probably be pointing this way, because this way to me is this way to you guys. Um, but for future, like, it, to be concise, you need to be very, very, like, you need to prep yourself. And preparation comes from perseverance. Um, now, I'm not going to aim at any kind of direct definition. It's just kind of how I see these things. Um, Perseverance... Uh, I'm going to look at it this way. For those who don't know what I'm referring to or haven't played the games yet, don't, you probably won't know what I'm talking about. But I'm going to take my favorite gaming franchise as an example to this and go, The Legend of Zelda's original two games are probably the perfect example of a comparison. Like, they're... 
perfect um, symbolism for what you can consider perseverance and uh, consistency. Perseverance would be Zelda 2. Consistency would be Zelda 1. Now the reason I say this is because when you look at Nintendo's current timeline for that, Zelda 2's background takes place before Zelda 1, but the game itself takes place after Zelda 1. So it, it's a little bit interesting when you think about it, but Perseverance is the same way. Perseverance is needed prior to any kind of being concise at all. I any idea of being, this needs to be executively constant. You need the perseverance to even get to that point. You need the determination, you need the, well there are several phrases I can use, but you need the determination to actually get to that point. And, you know, without it, without planning it, without prepping yourself for it, without being determined in on its own, it's just not possible. A lot of people rush into this kind of stuff and go, oh, I can do it, and then they can't because they rush so quickly into the t circumstances. Now, the reason for that uh, is actually tied into how much patience you have, which, again, was the third and final thing that go into what I was recommended into talking about. Um, Patience is a big key. It's kind of like, let's put it this way. Let's tie all three into one big picture here. See that door? It has a lock on it, like most doors do. Some don't, but that one does. Um, what's on the other side of that door is a hallway. Just kind of a miniature hallway um, that leads to a living room, a bathroom, the bathroom across from it, and another room that's across from this one. Just kind of to kind of give you guys an image of what I'm going for here. Take the three terms. Persistence, patience, and consistency. Paint yourself an image. The lock, the door itself, is... Let, let's just say somebody's on the other side of the door. And I had the only way to get in. There was no key whatsoever. Actually, I think that is legitimately realistic. I'm pretty sure these doors don't have keys. Anyway, um, they're trying to get in. They need to get in for some wild who knows why circumstance. And I'm the only way they can let them in, but I'm in the middle of something. I'm trying to prep something. And the lock, like I, I'm the only one who can unlock the door. Now this is more lying on, I was originally going to try to combine the three, but this more relies on patience and an example of patience. The person on the other side of the door has to wait, say it takes me like five minutes. They don't have the patience for whatever, um, it's taking me so long to unlock the door that they just leave. Whatever they needed, say it was something important, they're not going to get it. But... But patience is a big key to the other two as well, uh, for one reason. Without patience, you won't find your, you won't give yourself the energy to be determined enough. Let's change the word persistent to determination because they're about the same thing. Um, slight differences, but not to the extent where it really matters, but... Without patience, you won't gain the determination to be able to push forward, to press forward into the activities. I'm going to use a personal life example for all three. I used to be very, 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 um, like, constant on an activity that I used to do. I used to actually uh, write poems or stories or I would make videos. Uh, I was very constant. I was very on top of it. I would always do uh, the activities to certain extents, either daily or under a direct schedule, which I'm still doing now. 
uh, but this is after a big break of losing that consistency. And to get that consistency back, I actually had to regain an amount of determination or persistence that I had to actually do that in the first place. But to do that, I needed the patience for my own actions. Usually, this is how things go. This is usually how they tie in together. You need the patience to be able to be, you know, persistent enough to actually gain that consistency. It's a weird analogy to make that a lot of people might not grasp onto immediately, but consider this. I'm a YouTuber who has done gaming for two years, and there's, I've come to realize that there's always something that feeds your patience, persistence, and consistency, as we've been talking about for a while the past 10-ish, 11-ish minutes. Um, but the one thing you need to, what needs to have happen for all these three things, because they end up, I did not mean to do that, but they end up combining into one particular giant attribute. Don't focus on how consistent you're being off the bat. Don't focus on your patience off the bat. Don't focus on the perseverance, focus on what motivates you. Because whatever that is, whatever that motivation is, if that motivational icon, activity, sound, whatever it might be, if you start focusing more on that more frequently, I've noticed, and this is, might not be everybody, but this is a lot of people. Um, if you start focusing on that, that motivator will start pushing you to be more precise, more, as I've said a bunch of times already, determined, and more concise, more frequent. Now this is just my thought on the matter. I may have left some things out that might add to the whole circumstance of all this, but when I start thinking of this kind of stuff, that's just kind of the kind of thing that comes to my mind. Um, Danny, I don't, uh, Danny, I don't know if this helped or not, but if it did, um, cool. If not, then sorry. But as per usual, this is just kind of how the discussion and rant situation goes. I put my mindset on the topics and kind of go from there through, again, completely improv. Um, if you guys do have any suggestions for any other discussion and rant topics you'd like me to do, or psychological, therapeutic, um, hell, even if you wanted me to talk about something random that has nothing to do with psychology whatsoever, or anything like that, just let me know down in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to go dig in and try to find a certain way to go about thinking of these matters at whatever angle my brain takes me to. Uh, if you did like this video though, push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm posting one discussion and rant video every single week and until, ju until June comes I'll be doing random other stuff as well. <laughs> but if you guys did, um, if you like this enough, consider subscribing to the channel because, as I said, I do post um, these discussion and rants videos once every single week. Um, if you are interested in any other stuff that I've done gaming-wise, I'll have a playlist for that up over here. Want to check out my other discussion and rant videos? That'll be on my other side. Okay. In the meantime, though, I'm out. See you guys later. Bye.